What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and this is post-surgery me, uh, you know, coming in, and I was about to go to bed, and it's, uh, it's Tuesday night. It's been one week since my surgery, and I tried to go back to work on Sunday. It didn't go too well. I actually, everyone thought I was crazy. My mom thought I was crazy. My coworkers thought I was crazy. Um, but uh, but I was like, you know what? I filmed this like fun video just a little bit ago um, with uh, like doing a DC haul uh, of graphic novels I got for my birthday, including a birthday card I got for my coworkers. Um, so I just finished filming that, and I was like, oh wow, some trailers dropped. Uh, so I was like, all right, well let's let's just do some trailer reactions tonight. And one of them was Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. Um, so you, you know, make sure you're subscribed to my main page if you want, and I'll have that DC Hall video go up in like a week or so. Um, but that's officially my first video I filmed, uh, you know, post surgery, and this is now my second. And I want to do a trailer reaction to this, and then I think after this, someone told me there might be a Batman trailer dropping like soon, so I might stay up a little bit and see if that drops tonight too. So, uh, so without further ado, let's dive into Resident Evil Infinite Darkness official trailer. That means um, this is probably our last trailer we'll get before. The movie comes out because typically uh, I think the movie comes out in June or something or the series the series comes out in June and typically that's kind of uh, their their thing is they'll show a teaser like they did last year and they'll then they'll do like an uh, like a one minute two minute trailer which they did already and then now it's like a month out from you know the series premiering and we get the full trailer so here we go buckle in three two one Resident Evil all right get some choppers going oh Oh, it's like Afghanistan or something. Oh, dang. You want to talk about it? Oh, Leon. Every night I have the same nightmare. Yeah, where are they? It's crazy. It looks like, like Black Hawk Down or something. That was hell. Um, look at the way it shot. People screaming. Some dude's struggling. PTSD. They get bitten, then they turn. Oh! Whoa! He's got like a Joker he smile on real quick. Wow. Oh! Whoa! What is that? It's terrifying. Leon? Whoa. It's gotta be another Claire outbreak. Bear. I gotta go. Awesome. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Alien Coffee Motel. Raccoon City was the beginning. We can't let what happens stay buried. Oh. If we went public with this, we could expose a conspiracy. Oh. Claire is working on some real stuff there. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we need to show huh. the world that we are a strong nation. Wow, Claire's like exposing politicians and stuff that were involved in the Raccoon City event. Who seek freedom. We cannot allow anyone to interfere with peace and prosperity. What are you here for? That's classified. Interesting. Where the root of terror comes from. Whoa, rats! That's crazy looking. Starts with fear. What is this thing? It's like a green liquid everywhere. Huh. It starts with fear. I will show you. What the hell is that? Is that Swamp Thing? It looks like Swamp Thing. Uh, it looks like a plant-based uh, virus, maybe. Oh, that's oh, that's interesting. Because I'm just thinking now of the ivy creatures um, from Resident Evil 2 and how they developed them in the remake where they, they look more humanoid. Because uh, in the original, they had like humanoid bodies, like legs and arms, but they were completely plant. And then they had like a big Venus flytrap head, which I like that design a lot more. Um, but in the remake, they kind of toned down the head and made it like a human size head, but it does split open in three ways, like the, the Ivies did. Um, and they would like chomp you and eat you apart or something. Um, kind of like the movie The Thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, seeing that like Swamp Thing looking monster, that's funny. Um, and uh, he said something like, I'll show you fear. I wonder who that is. I wonder if that's the soldier um, with the PTSD. I wonder if he's like the sole survivor. Because remember in Resident Evil 4, the whole plan was they were going to kidnap the president's daughter, who that's this president that's in this story with Leon. Um, so this is post-Resident Evil 4, 
and Leon's still working for that president. So I know some of you guys are like, oh, maybe we'll see a cameo of Ashley Graham or something, uh, the girl he rescued in Resident Evil 4. But the whole Salazar or Sadler's whole plot in Resident Evil 4 was to infect Ashley Graham, uh, you know, sell her back to America and like, a, you know, hey, like a ransom, like, hey, give us this much money, you know, to fund our operation and we'll give you your daughter back. And there was, I guess, a planned exchange with her, but the U.S. government not knowing that she's infected. So Leon was sent in early to see if he can rescue her before the, you know, attempt at, um, you know, doing the, the ransom, I guess. And, uh, and so the plan was that they were going to sell her back to America infected. And then she was going to be in the White House and just would immediately start affecting everybody else with lost plot. So I think that was the original plan that Sadler had that got totally screwed up by... Um, you know, Ada and Leon, essentially. So, uh, and kind of Krauser, because kind of Krauser was, Krauser was a little bit not working, you know, he had other plans working with a Neo Umbrella with Wesker. So, um, so yeah, I know, it gets a lot, right? There's a lot to the lore of this. But uh, that was cool. I mean, that was a pretty neat trailer. It showed us a lot more, obviously, but, you know, uh, and maybe enough to start piecing stuff together. But I don't want to go down too much of a speculation route with this. I mean, these animated movies and and stuff are are, are neat and i kind of just like you know am happy you know, watching them when they come out and you know not knowing too too much more going in uh besides what the trailer show us so i'm intrigued i mean there was like green goo everywhere and then there was like a plant monster that would be neat because they haven't really touched too much on plants and how they're affected by the any viruses from this universe and i'm also curious what kind of virus this is like you know is it going to be something that's a derivative of the mold you know like an early version of the mold is it because they saw that guy with all the liquid pouring out of his mouth um or is it going to be something different is it going to be more g virus like or you know passed down from the t virus you know who knows i'm, I'm kind of curious uh but uh, you guys let me know what did you think of this trailer down in the comments below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there and we'll get this uh coming up soon i i don't so uh, i didn't see a release date here um but i think it's uh Oh, July 8th. Oh, so, okay, so we're a little bit more than a month away. So, um, so okay, so July 8th. So there's a chance we might get one more trailer or hint or something at this before it comes out. Because usually, like, a month out, they give you something. And uh, and so, who knows, maybe in, like, three or four weeks, we might get something else to kind of be our final tease to this. So if we do, I'll do a reaction to that as well. Um, but thank you guys so much. Uh, let me know your thoughts down uh, in the comments, like I said. And we'll definitely have more Resident Evil content for you soon. I recorded a... Um, a uh, commentary track for Resident Evil Retribution uh, before my surgery. So uh, so I'll try to get that, you know, up to you guys soon. I was hoping to have that up by now, but I just haven't made time to edit it. And I'd rather post this first because this is more newer and I'd rather get this to you guys. Um, and then I'll post that next and then I'll keep an eye out for any more movie news and we'll discuss that if there are any. So thanks so much. See you all in the future. Peace.